goes in. Oh my god, the stupid doors. When you grease the doors and all this crap falls on your face when you open it. Alright guys, the fridge is gone four days ago. This is gone too. Lady's picking it up at 12 o'clock today. So we're gonna put this washer out here. Looks like it's gonna rain or is it gonna rain? I don't know. Maybe I'll wait a little bit. <clears throat> they also want a stove and a fridge. I got a fridge yesterday. Mostly what I got here is two stoves and all dryers. Except the washer. So lots of dryers, guys. Stay tuned. This is what we got yesterday, guys. Oh no, did I delete the video? I don't know. Yeah, so this got dropped off for me, my buddy Eric. Dryer. <clears throat> Doesn't know what's wrong with it. We'll have to check that. I know the cord is all shot. It's been dragged. That needs to be replaced. <clears throat> Stove says it works, except for two top burners don't work. Oven works. I can get by here. Oven works. Fridge works. Got this too yesterday. Just gotta adjust the door here. Gotta lift it up a bit. See what the problem is, is see how it's hitting there? It's hitting the bottom. So that's an easy fix. You can probably just loosen the top here. Just kind of swivel it back a bit. But yeah. We got the fridge, the stove, and the dryer for 100 bucks. So we're right now, we're gonna check on the burners. We're gonna check the two controls, because two burners don't work, that's it. And we're gonna look at the back. Hope it's not that, but that doesn't really control the burners, so it's, it's gotta be the knobs. This basically controls the oven, but we'll look for burnt in the back, burnt nest. So we're gonna do a gnomes test here on these burners. Burner is good. That one there. Okay, you know how it's black there? See how it's tarnished? You gotta clean that up. It's probably making a bad connection. That could be the cause, but it's all tarnished. So you get some sandpaper sandals down. But the burner is good. <clears throat> Next burner, we'll do this one here. That's also tarnished too. So they said two burners are not working, right? And if you look at the <clears throat> how tarnished it is, the burner is good. But <clears throat> if you look here how black it is, that's not making a connection. So that could be the cause. Hopefully that would be that would be good if there's a little bit of sanding on that. That's it. Okay, I want to check the other burner. Test on this one. They all gotta be cleaned. All right, so burners are good. We know that now, right? Now we need to check the controls at the back. So how we do this, I'll tell you how. We're gonna hook up my two wires here, right, with alligator clips. We're gonna turn the knob on. If you get continuity, it's working. Turn it off, you should get no continuity. All right, that's our, that's the second test I do. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> let me put this back together. Oh, actually, I should put it back together. That'll be the test here. So let's take this off. We're gonna just put them there. Be careful because these fall apart easy. When they fall apart, they're a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Not in bad shape. All the wires are connected, you can see. Connected there, connected, connected. So, be 
could be could be this here too. Sometimes they're loose inside. <clears throat> they need to be changed. That seems okay. Usually you can tell them there's play on it. That seems okay. Alright. Now we'll do the other test here. You get your ohms. Put it on ohms. Okay, you two wires. Make sure you got it on ohms. Okay. <clears throat> Stick your wires in here. Okay, you got no continuity. That's good. So that's all you do. And now you just flip the switch. Turn it around. I'm not hitting it probably. No. Okay, something's wrong here. Oh, hang on. Something is wrong. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, we got the panel off the stove here. Now we're looking in the back for any black burnt marks. You look at the control board here, it looks okay. You don't see nothing black, burnt, or you can smell it too. So that's a good sign. You can look at these two if they're black and burnt. Oh, hang on guys. Something happened here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Do you see the black tarnish there? Oh, even inside here. So two burners are not working. There's gonna be another one in there. Oh, all right, there we go guys. This one here fried itself. You can see inside the top. This one's clean. And that was an easy one. Don't even have to test them. But you can also do continuity tests on these. So this is simple. I got thousands of these parts. Thousands. So I'm just gonna replace it, guys. <clears throat> Very simple. Pull the knob off. Just like that. Oh, let me just get this stuff out of the way here. I'm getting overwhelmed. Take the two screws off the front there and slide the knob back. See the knob there. All right, we'll pop this out. You know what? We'll take a quick picture to be on the safe side, right? I always take a picture because you don't want to mess the wires up in the stove, especially on a stove. You don't want to cross wires for sure. You can cause fire or something, right? We'll just take a quick picture here. One, two. Good enough. Now, all these things here, there's dots on them. If you see that red dot, that's a red dot that tells you it's the, the big burner in the front. That's got a red dot. And the other one has no dot, I guess. But yeah, we'll pop this out and we'll take a look at this. Screwdriver here. So that's the problem. Two control knobs, guys. Two control knobs. This guy here probably had a, an appliance tech at his house. And to go to fix it, he probably gave him a ridiculous quote, right? And he said, no, nah, I'm not paying eight, nine hundred dollars or five hundred or four hundred dollars for it. I'll get rid of it by a, new, oh, by a new stove for that kind of money. And that's what happened. There's an appliance tech gave him an outrageous coat. And that's all it was, guys. You can see it there. Hang on. You know mosquitoes out here? You can see there how burnt it is. That is not good. Oh, you can smell it too. Okay, so we'll replace this one. And we'll replace this one here. That'll be the two burners. See the blackness? comes on your fingers you know that's that's shot right there so we'll take this one out so that's why you have to take pictures make sure you know where you're putting them because this one here has a lot of wires so it's got the black power lead to it it goes off something else all right so we'll to pop that out pop that out pop the knob we'll take the front screws out and we'll swap that out Okay, let's go replace it. Oh, 
Let me bring my glasses. So if you ever see anything, bring my flashlight here. <clears throat> I can't wait to make space here and clean this crap mess up. I don't know how I'm working with this. This is just insane. It's insane. We got some light here. Okay, there's all the switches. I should have that one. This is orange. See what I mean? This one here. They should have a dot on it and tell you what color they are. Orange. We need red. This one here. These two. That's purple. See the purple? <clears throat> I wonder if this is a red one. It looks so it looks like it. So we're just gonna. Pop this one. Okay, that's a burnt one. This one looks the one we popped on this side here of all the wires. <clears throat> so we look at this one here. You guys can see how you match the wires. These are the wires. These are the wires, the spare one I got. See the two, the blue. Oh, hang on. Blue on bottom. The two red, the black, the purples over here on this side. But it's got no red dot on it, so I have to look at the numbers. Maybe fall off, who knows. But get off me. So yeah, it's we'll match it, the dots. <clears throat> we won't match it up. Okay. Alright, <clears throat> we got a match for that one on that side. Alright. There we go, replaced. It's gonna tighten it up a bit. And there's the old one there, the burnt one. And there's the new one. All right, now we get one for this side here. So we'll take that out of the way. <clears throat> now we're looking for this one here, <clears throat> which is also a red. And it looks about, they look exactly the same, tell you the truth. You're matching up, red, red. Yeah, both red. Pretty much the same, exactly the same. So, we need one more. One more and we're good to go. Okay, we got two more. That's black. Couldn't see back there. Oh, and that's black. That's no good. See the black dot? Oh, my God. Back to the drawing board. All right, we got two more here. There we go. Red. That is definitely red right there. There's the old ones, you can see the red dot. And there's red right here, guys. So that's it. Now we're gonna look at our picture here. That one's the one we just did, that side. Now we look at this side. And you see here, the blue is on top, the red's on the bottom there. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Blue is on top here. You can tell them the whom we came right here. There you are, guys. Let's just... Oh, so she's here. Hang on a sec. Okay, guys. We're both in. Simple as that. And believe these things are so expensive. They're like 60 or 70 bucks to replace. These are not cheap. So every time you get yourself a scrap stove, take everything out the back you can. Take them all. Because they're not cheap. That's why this wasn't repaired. The guy was probably going to pay maybe, who knows, marked up prices from the repair guy, maybe a hundred and something plus labor, maybe three, four hundred dollars. And they said, no, forget it. So we're going to look at the picture here again. Match it up. There you go. Blue on top, two reds at the bottom, black. All right, blue on top, two reds, black on the bottom, purple on the side, purple on the side. Go to the next one here. Hang on. There's the other one there. Two orange on top, red and black at the bottom. Two orange on top, red and black at the bottom. And they're both red ones, marked red. And that's it, simple fix, guys. Simple fix for a nice stove. And everything is nice, not burnt, nothing. So, I don't have, I don't have to plug this in right now because there's no way I can plug it in, but I know she's gonna work now. 
because we found the problem, right? All right. All right, guys, let's diagnose the reason why that happened. I want to give you my opinion why that happened, guys. Because the burners on the top where it was black, it wasn't making connection. That's, it was arcing itself, arcing and not making a good connection, so it was arcing and then it came back to this and blew these out. That's my thinking of what happened here, guys. But she's good to go. She's good to list and get the hell out of here, stove. I'll put the cover back on. Well, they even had the cover off. They had this piece inside. Maybe it does go in. I don't think so. I think that stays out. They had this in. Maybe it does go in. Maybe she does go in. It's been taken apart, believe it or not. You can tell by the screws. But whoever took it apart, I'm sure it wasn't the owner. It was a repair guy, probably trying to pull a fast one on him and charge him ridiculous prices. All right, waiting here for the customer to show up. Then I gotta go install a lid switch that one of my customers. I gave him the warranty. It's been like eight months. The warranty was only three months, but I'm being nice to the customer. Single mom with four kids, and I don't want her getting hurt in a washer so I'm gonna replace her lid switch this is a brand new one I got off another washer I couldn't believe it they replaced a the brand new lid switch so it's she's brand new nice and brand new I got the ground wire with it here guys and we got the plug in here too complete lid switch simple fast job take me about five minutes not that long so wait for this customer then I gotta head to the appliance store and buy some trays for some stoves. And we'll go from there, guys. All right. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, guys. Thumbs up for CarMac 1. I'm showing you guys how to flip appliances, repair appliances. Subscribe to CarMac, guys. Get me to 1,000 subscribers. I'll be amazed. That will get me more motivated to show you guys some more stuff. Appreciate it, guys. We got new trays, guys. Brand new. They're gonna look nice. What a deal. Uh, there's a set too big, too small in the box. 34 bucks plus tax. Then I needed two big other big ones. So 45 all included. Alright. Not a bad deal. We got the trays, guys. We got trays. Good morning, YouTubers. Carmack One here. Getting an early start on my Veal Palm. I'm gonna make the veal palm today. Got the veal and the egg there. The best veal you can get. This is right from the butcher. Baby calf, milk fed veal. That's what you want to cook. Milk fed veal. So tender, guys. All right. Carmac One is making veal palm this morning. Getting ready for dinner tonight. <coughs> All right, she's cooking very nice. There she is, veal palm, guys. We're gonna cook all the veal. Okay.